Chapter 104. This chapter is updated by Novels.pl. Do you even know how to open this warehouse? At Suho's question, Vera nodded coldly. At least this much of the shaman's staff can only be torn apart by force. Then, Berga flew to the shaman's staff and nicked the blue flames of the shaman's staff with his fingernails. Pusuk. At that moment, the flames of the shaman's camp faded and the hidden space beyond opened its mouth. It is open. Suho immediately prepared for battle with two Vulcan horns in both hands. I didn't know what would come out of this. Unfortunately, however, the one waiting inside was not an enemy. Rather the opposite. Obtained item, Devil's Essence. Essence of the Devil? Suho picked up a ball the size of a fist with a puzzled expression. Difficulty to obtain? Type Jewel. This is a sealing sphere where countless demonic souls are sealed. Breaking it can free the demons. While checking the item information, the horn of the Vulcan held in the other hand vibrated, as if it's sad that you're full. Suho also licked his lips as if it was a waste. It's really too bad. If I had discovered this sooner, I, I would have been able to strengthen Vulcan's horns more easily. After Vulcan's quest was over, the demon's soul was no longer of any value to Suho. I'll take it to Isil and ask him. Suho put the devil's essence in his inventory. The demonic essence was not the end of the items in Iterum's warehouse. Your little lord, you found something important. Ver, who was rummaging through the warehouse just in time, found something and brought it back. Item, Iterum's slate has been obtained. Item, difficulty to obtain. Type stone slate. A stone tablet with the language of Iterum engraved on it. A special spell is cast. Vera pretended to know. I know what this spell is. During the war, I clearly saw that Iterim's troops used this to communicate with each other. Communicating with stone tablets? Yes, the problem is two of them are a pair, but seeing that there is only one here, the other one must be holding the other one, like the one who sent the mad tyrant this way. There is a very high probability of that. Suho stared at the stone slab of Itarim and thought about how to use it, but nothing came of it. Once you have this, there will be a day when you will use it. That side will contact you first. Suho put Iterim's slate into his inventory. Looks like I have nothing more to gain. I wondered if the mad tyrant had used this meteorite as a secret base for storing the demonic souls he had collected or contacting other apostles. Let's go back now. Where did you get this? As soon as Eshel saw the essence of the devil Suho handed him, he was astonished. Come and pick it up. Do you need it by any chance? I can feel the souls of a great number of demons in here. Could this be something from a mad-blooded tyrant? Suho nodded at Eshel's quick-witted words. It seemed so. If you break this, the demon spirits will be released. Do you know what will happen if you release them? It is literally free. Demons don't die even if only their spiritual bodies remain. While floating nearby, you will be possessed by an irrational creature or demon beast and reborn as a new demon. If I kill it then, level up. No, your brain is salted from leveling up. Eshel shook her head and sighed as if she couldn't stop it at Suho's words. The newly born demons are so weak that they won't even help you level up. Rather, it would be much more helpful to recruit them as my own people and use them to rebuild this land. Okay? Then you have to break it right away. Shh! Suho immediately broke the demon's essence. Then, the spirit bodies of countless demons began to come out like fireworks. Wow! Kehe! Kehe! Along with him, the dreary laughter was heard from all directions. Numerous specters trapped in the demon's essence spewed out evil energy while spinning around Suho and Isil. And, in order to find the delicious body in front of you and possess it, your mouth drools with sinister eyes. But they were quite quick-witted. All of a sudden, the owner of the body closest to them was Essel, a demon aristocrat, and they sneaked back, aiming for a more easy-going opponent. That's Suho, because he was only human. But the moment they saw Suho, they realized it. Being human was just a shell. In the shadow of Suho, a deep and gigantic abyss spread far and wide like an abyss. Interest. The ghosts were much more surprised and began to run away than they found Essel. If you go in there, you will die. They were not just going to die, but a fear that even their souls would be eaten. Why are they like that? Don't mind. Now I'm going to find little things that I can understand and possess. Hmm. 
are demons born that way. That's right. Even if we die, as long as our souls remain, we can always possess another body and be reborn. That is the essence of spiritualization. The things that Eshel had been possessed by the Sword of Protection were part of that ability. The devil never dies, only to be reborn. But the moment you get a new body, most of your previous memories disappear, so you can just say that you die. Eshel muttered as she watched the demonic souls scattering away. They are probably the demons who fought against the mad tyrant. If they had been sealed separately, they would have been coveted souls even from the point of view of a mad-blooded tyrant. If they get a body and are reborn as demons, they will be of great help to us. It was a pleasant sound to hear. After that, Eshel worked hard to unite all the demons of the land around the Colosseum. Slaves who dug ore for war got their freedom overnight. However, it was only the ruler who changed but their daily lives did not change significantly. The gods from outer space are attacking. The mad tyrant was also a pawn of the foreign press. Somehow I thought it wasn't an ordinary devil. Then what about us now? Is there anything wrong? If enemies come in, just fight back and that's it. Then you will need a weapon. Then without question, the demons started picking up their pickaxes again. And even though he was not whipped by the demon guards, he began digging ore with his own will. That action was not because of Eshil's orders. In the first place, demons were not a race that feared battle. Rather, they were not the ones who enjoyed fighting strong opponents and regretted it even if they were weak and were eaten. The reason for this was the belief that even if one dies, he or she becomes a ghost and is born anew. However, even for them, the existence of a mad-blooded tyrant was too frightening. The mad-blooded tyrant was a terrible guy who burned even the souls of demons with blue flames and took away their entire bodies. I can't be bothered by the tyrant king again. Kehe, it's a war, war. Let's prepare for war. For Ladir. For Essel Ladir. Blood. A demon aristocrat Eshel only appeared, but the demons began to unite around Eshel. As much as that, the existence of pure blood had great value to the demons. Suho, who was watching these scenes, was curious and asked Bear, What is pure blood? Why are they so actively obeying? Maybe that's what I think? Vera nodded. You're right. Only pure bloods deserve to be demon lords. After all, they want Eshel to become the new monarch one day. Only with a monarch can the demon realm, which has been torn into pieces like now, merge into one world again. When Suho first met Eshel, Essel was clearly being chased by demons, but in the end, the demons just wanted to eat her and become a demon noble themselves. Furthermore, it must have been his will to rebuild the demon realm by gaining the qualifications to become a demon lord himself. This is all thanks to you, Suho. Essel thanked Suho. I still haven't regained my original strength. Even right now, if those demons attack all at once, it is certain that they will be eaten helplessly but it's thanks to you that no one dares to think like that now. All the demons in the Colosseum watched Suho defeat the Mad Tyrant with overwhelming power from start to finish. As long as the very existence of the Guardian protected Eshel Ladir, no demons would dare to challenge the Ladir family. But peace never came. The reason why the demons themselves are preparing for war now is because of the fear that a new rabid tyrant might appear with a meteorite at any time. In order to do that, first of all, I have to regain my original strength. With Bloodstone? Huh. Now that I'm the owner of this land, I'm going to pick up some Bloodstone from the lower demons and eat it. It's called a tribute. There were many uses of Bloodstone, but the biggest one was for demon nobles to continuously absorb the blood of lower demons to maintain their power. But if you drink too much blood at once, all of your subordinates will die and the number will gradually decrease. So, the point is to continuously suck up metallurgy, metallurgy. Now like this. Eshel spread her hands wide toward the demons who had come to follow her. Okay, whoops. A bit of blood was drawn from the demons' bodies and formed into small beads. Wow, it was truly spectacular to see dozens and hundreds of those black marbles flying towards Asil and being absorbed. <laughs> Suho, who was watching Azil accepting the power with an ecstatic expression, could notice that the energy he felt from Azil had gotten a little stronger. Did you see it? It's like this. 
now it's just a matter of time before I get back to my original strength. But it's not like I can pick and eat bloodstone every day, so I have nothing else to do right now. Even if he came to rule the demons, he left the little things to the demon attendants anyway. Even the old devil, who was Vulcan's servant, had less work when Eshel took it as his servant. Realizing what Eshel was trying to say, Suho smiled and held out his hand. Good, then, for the time being I'll work hard again as a member of my guild. Yes, guild leader, will you take good care of your salary? Even if I look like this, I am a noble in my hometown, so the ransom is a bit high. Azel smiled brightly and held Suho's hand. Let's go back now, to Earth. Recently, I created a game for Android Energy Idol Tycoon. I could use a little support in promoting it. Just download it and play for a while. Thank you in advance. Chapter 105 This chapter is updated by Novels.pl. Around that time, there was someone forgotten by everyone. Susuho, Limdun was dying. Save me. Limdojin crawls on the floor with a white bandage wrapped around his body. The sight of him shaking his hands and desperately trying to get out of this hellish place was truly devastating. Suho, who witnessed this, closed his eyes tightly and turned his head away. I'm sorry, bro. Tuck. In the end, Limdojin's hand, which had been shaking, fell helplessly to the floor. But, wake up. Excited, Amut's gigantic hand lifted his rag-wrapped body with ease. There are still three laps left. Ah! Limdojin, who was caught in his grip, struggled with both arms like a broken doll but against his will, Amut forced his body to the ground and ordered it sternly and solemnly. If you have time to lick your mouth, run. Amut, please. No more. It is. No, really. My leg is broken. Trick your brain. If you think your legs aren't broken, you can run. Can you do it, you crazy crocodile? No, sir. It was just bullshit. I must have been dreaming for a moment. Kah, it looks good. Your eyes are alive. Could you increase the gravity? Gravity doubled. Goo. When Amit snapped his finger, the heavy gravity field pressed down on Lim Dogen's body. Dudek, quack! The already broken leg bones cracked again. Unfortunately, however, the item mummy's bandage wrapped around his body was forcibly holding his broken body. Thanks to that, Lim Dokyun was able to run as much as he wanted, even with a broken leg, which was nothing to be thankful for. Heh, I don't like it. Why are you moving again? His eyes were loose and his saliva was dripping, but Imdojin felt grateful and cursed that he was still alive. As Amut pushed his back with the gravitational field, Limdojin eventually trudged and started running again. The past few days, when Suo went to the devil world, Limdojin was staying for a while in the Pyramid of Amut. The situation outside was too dangerous, so Suo temporarily evacuated him here. But here, an even more terrible hell awaited him. Right in front of my eyes, a huge muscular crocodile man was licking his lips at Lim Dojun. And the reason Amit licked his lips was never to eat him. Amit was very fond of such frail and worthless things as he was. Scent, Yogo Yogo. My mouth watered. The chef's mind as if he had just discovered fresh ingredients. Amit was thrilled just thinking about how to train this weak human scum to spread rumors that he raised him well. In particular, as Suho experienced, the gravitational field in this pyramid became heavier or lighter depending on Amut's will. If you use this system well, you should be able to train it to the limit by squeezing that skinny wretched body to its maximum. And, no matter how much Limdokin refused, he had no right to veto, because no one who stepped into this pyramid escaped safely from Amut's clutches. <sighs> the desperate screams of Limjun resonated throughout the pyramid, but even that was only pleasing to Amut. Hehe. <laughs> good, 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 I still have a lot of energy. Oh no. Wait a minute, adds one more round. There were gazes standing and watching Lim Dojun from afar. Corrupted mummies. They are countless seniors who died while receiving rigid body training from Amit until they were killed a long time ago. Even after death, they were workers who were forever trapped in this pyramid and were holding Amit's help. Jeh. Originally, the dead don't talk. The mummies stared blankly at Lim Dogen with empty pupils, then turned their heads bitterly. Kehe, don't worry too much. I've learned how to train just enough to not die anymore. It seems like that, but Suho was very sorry and bought a healing potion at the store. And when the potion was poured into Lim Dogen's mouth, who had become a super dead sword, 
his pupils, which had disappeared, D from focus, slowly began to regain strength. Ah, are you an angel? The power is coming back. Can I live? I didn't even have the spirit to wonder how Suo had this ability. Suho, thank you. Ho oh, the power has returned? Now wait a minute. No, no, really no. At that moment, Limdokin looked at Suho with a desperate expression as Amut lit up his eyes as if he had waited. Suho met his eyes and nodded silently. If you haven't completed ten climbers yet, you should run. You traitor, training resumed. Even if you can't level up like me, it's a good thing to do strength training to the limit. In fact, this was no different from Lim Dojin. It was impossible for ordinary hunters to grow through leveling up like Suho. However, that meant that it was impossible to grow the awakened ability, and everyone was doing mock combat training on how to use strength exercises and skills in battle. That was the reason hunters wanted to join a large guild in the first place. It was because the large guilds were systematically assisting the hunters' training by recruiting coaches who had trained national-level athletes at high cost. In that sense, Amut's rigid body training was actually a very good training method, even if it was very violent. In particular, if the mummy's bandage and healing potion, which forcefully move the body even when bones are broken and muscles are torn, were able to transform the human body to the limit. Qua! Of course, I had to endure that much pain myself. Rather than that, he is a disciple. Did the affairs of the demon realm go well? Just then, Amut looked back at Suho and asked how he was doing. Of course, I wouldn't ask out of curiosity. Suho intuitively realized what words would come out next. If it's all over, let's start chi training today. Just pretend to listen to the answer. Because this gym is so awful. Suo shook his head and stood next to Limdojin himself. Gravity tripled. Start daily quest. Meanwhile, while Suho is on his way back to the devil world, the outside world was noisy as well. What? Are you saying our Suho still hasn't returned from the dungeon? Jinho Yu. Suho's uncle and CEO of Agensoft couldn't help but be surprised when he received the news that Suho, who had been attacking the dungeon, had not been heard from for several days. The secretary who relayed the fact to Yu Jinho also had a serious expression, because there were still more important facts left. Yes. Of course, it's common for hunters to stay in dungeons for a long time, but this time it's not trivial. It is said that after Song Suho Hunter entered the Pyeongtaek dungeon, the hunters of the Hyunmu Guild followed suit. Hyunmu Guild? Yu Jinho couldn't help but feel bad about the familiar name, couldn't it be that there is a name called Lee Young-ho among the hunters who followed him? That's right, CEO. Hunmu Guild's manager Lee Young-ho said that he who recently had a conflict with us brought his subordinates to the Pyeongtaek Guild. Damn it! Jump! Yu Jin-ho couldn't help but stand up and pick up the phone. I will hire mercenaries right away and go in to rescue Suho. Also, contact the Hunmu Guild and ask where manager Lee Young-ho is now. Yes! All right. Yu Jinho was furious with the fact that Suho could be in danger. It's my fault. I could never have thought that manager Li Young Ho would take his anger out on Suho for what went wrong this time. It was a mistake that no one thought that even the hunters would cross the line this far. However, if you look closely, it has only been two years since the profession of hunter was created in this world. No matter how diligently the Hunter Association made the Hunter act and set their guidelines for action, it was unreasonable to correct the AP, rants of the rampaging gangsters who suddenly had supernatural powers. I forgot for a moment that there is a difference between Hunter and Villain in the end. Intoxicated with superhuman strength, there were countless Hunters who evaded the law and fulfilled their desires. Bondi humans are greedy and selfish animals, even before the cataclysm, isn't it human nature to commit all sorts of evil deeds if you have a lot of money? CEO, I have contacted the Hunmu Guild. By the way, just in time, the secretary delivered new news to Yu Jinho. Hyunmu Guild manager Lee Young Ho also entered the dungeon and lost contact for several days. What? It was Yu Jinho who felt something strange at those words. 
According to the information, the third dungeon in Pyeongtaek where Suho entered was not a very difficult place. In the first place, wasn't it a place where I was going to stop by lightly to build a career to create a guild of guardians? In such a place, the Haiyunmu Guild, which was said to have followed immediately after the Witch Beasts, must have been a much more dangerous existence. If Suho's attacking party had clashed with them, it would have been time to finish the match by now. Connect with the Hunmu Guild right away. I will call you directly. Yu Jinho took over the phone with a scary expression. The secretary, who watched the sudden momentum from the side, got goosebumps. It's been a while since the CEO has been so angry. The secretary who had been aiding him for a long time remembered exactly when the moment he showed himself like this. Just a few years ago, when Song Suho's parents suddenly went missing. Even then, Yu Jinho was extremely angry and his eyes were turned upside down. And Yu Jinho, at a time like this, no one can stop him, Chuck. Just then, the phone that Jinho Yu was holding connected to the Hyunmu Guild. I got a call. I am the head of the Hyunmu Guild. Change the guild leader right now. Yes. Yes. A look of bewilderment returned to the phone over the phone because of the thick murderousness in Yunho's voice. However, Yu Jinho had no intention of conversing with the general manager. Yu Jinho summoned the guild leader of the Hyunmu Guild, growling ferociously like a beast that had lost its family. And the head of the Hyunmu Guild, who knew who Jinho Yu was, did not dare to go against his words. I'll connect you to the guild leader. Yu Jinho asked his secretary, who was standing beside him at the same time, at a loss for what to do. Have the mercenaries been recruited? Yes. But since we're trying to recruit talented mercenaries, reservations have already been made. Tell me to double or triple the pay. Now we fight for the village. It was then, again long, a text from Suho arrived on Yu Jin Ho's cell phone. What should I do with uncle? This dungeon took a little longer, so the next dungeons I reserved were delayed a little. Recently I created a game for Android Energy Idol Tycoon. I could use a little support in promoting it. Just download it and play for a while. Thank you in advance. Chapter 106. This chapter is updated by novels.pel. Huh? Suho. At that moment, Yu Jinho's expression, which had been cold and hardened, melted in one blow. Yu Jinho immediately grabbed the phone and shouted urgently, Suho, where are you now? Pick up the phone. Phone call. Day representative, you have to press the call button first. The secretary let out a sigh of relief when he returned to his normal state. Why is uncle calling all of a sudden? Suho, who was taking a break after safely getting out of the Pyeongtaek dungeon, was confused when he received a sudden phone call from his uncle. I only sent one text message for trivial paperwork, so this was a problem usually dealt with on the secretary line. By the way, are you getting a call all of a sudden? Hmm. Are you Suho? Is the hunter job worth doing? There was no such thing as a special accident. However, when I answered the phone, a very calm, adult, and serious voice came from the other side. Your uncle, there were minor problems, but somehow they managed to come out well. Ah, it was a minor problem, right? Hmm, yes, very fortunate. How come your tone is a bit awkward? Is it because of your mood? Isn't there something wrong with your uncle? Haha, -ha, I, heh, what could happen to me? I am unharmed. Safe? Suho, who couldn't guess the situation, was just confused. It must have been a no-nonsense phone call. However, Yu Jinho, who was checking on Suho's safety again, sneakily added a word before hanging up the phone. Probably, the Hunmu Guild will contact you sooner or later. I'll listen to pretty much anything, so try to negotiate well. As soon as the phone call with Yu Jinho ended, I got a call from the Hunmu Guild almost at the same time. And as soon as I pressed the call button, an unknown person screamed loudly. I'm really sorry, Hunter Song Suho. Hmm? It was only then that the face of Chief Lee Young Ho, whom he met right before entering the demon world, came to Suho's mind. Ah, I completely forgot. Didn't that man fight with me and get killed by demons? It was Suho who had completely forgotten about Lee Young Ho, because the battle in the demon realm had been a bit long. The manager of the Hyunmu Guild, who even dragged the second army hunters who were threatening to interfere with him. Suho remembered him with a vague expression. I used it sparingly as a shadow soldier. Thanks to that, the demons were also handled well. 
I wonder if he has gone to a good place now. It was Suho who prayed for a moment of peace for Chief Li Youngho, who was killed by the devil and became a shadow soldier, but now returned to nothing. However, I don't know what he heard from Yu Jinho, but the Hunmu Guild had been unconditionally apologizing without any explanation. If you're not rude, we'd like to visit you personally for a while and apologize formally. Would that be okay? Meet you? At that time, Lim Dokyun, who had been eavesdropping on Suho's phone call with his ears pricked up next to him, blinked his eyes and nodded furiously. Must meet! Nod nod! That's right! Suho couldn't help but nod his head at the tremendous pressure. I am so sorry! He was the head of the Hunmu Guild, bending 90 degrees in front of Suho and Lim Dojun. It is our staff's fault, but it is the responsibility of our Hunmu Guild for not properly managing our staff. I'm really sorry, Hunter Song Suho. Hmm. Is a mere verbal apology worthwhile? In front of him, Lim Dojun was crossing his legs in a most arrogant posture, and as if to leave this to him, he winked hard at Suho with a wink. Suho just smiled dejectedly. However, even if he looked so clumsy, Lim Dokyun was an elite in his own way. He was Suho's direct senior, who graduated from Korea University's Department of Painting, the best art school in Korea, at the top of his class. That means that. It means that the nunchi skill is at the highest level. Being a teaching assistant was a job where I had to deal with high, GH-ranking professors. At the same time, as a middle manager who was good at dealing with subordinates, that is, students, it was a very difficult job to survive while being hit up and down. However, the head of the Hyunmu Guild in front of them was also a high-ranking person whom Lim Dogyun would not normally dare to meet. But now you've become our precious eul, hehe. <laughs> Seeing Lim Dogyun rubbing his hands together and smiling slyly, the head of the Hyunmu Guild turned pale. This won't be easy. Lim Dogyun backed by CEO Yu Jinho. He was exuding the aura of a warrior who had gone through a reversal under the protection of the president or the highest school president. Come on, chief. Do you admit that the third dungeon in Pyeongtaek is the dungeon we reserved first? Yes. Then do you admit that the large guild, Hyunmu Guild, unilaterally tried to take it away from small hunters like us? I don't know the exact circumstances, but it must have been some kind of procedural error. Ah, yes. There may have been a mistake. So I got the video recorded on the CCTV in front of the Pyeongtaek dungeon. Looking at the head of the Hyunmu Guild who shuddered at those words, Lim Dogjun smiled the most wickedly. Shall we watch this video first and continue talking? Looking at Lim Dogjun's eyes, as if he was resentful of evil, the head of the Hyunmu Guild already sensed defeat. I'm going to rip it hard. What kind of harm did this guy get from manager Lee Young Ho so he lost his eyes? But he won't even know. In fact, it was Amut not manager Lee Young Ho, who harmed Lim Dogyun just a moment ago. Lim Dogyun thought sincerely, if it wasn't for manager Lee Young Ho, he wouldn't have met Amut. However, there was nothing special about the CCTV footage that Lim Dogyun showed. It was just that the two of them had a minor quarrel in front of the dungeon. After checking the video to the end with a lot of tension, the general manager's complexion suddenly turned bright. Hey, what is this? CEO Jin Ho Yu even stepped in to do just this. Anyway, that nobleman's disobedience is really serious. He let out a sigh of relief, saying that this could be solved with just a few pennies. But just then, Burr, who had been on an errand for Suho, arrived. Little Lord, I brought out the corpses you said. What Burr dragged along was none other than the corpses of manager Lee Young Ho and his gang. It was kept in the shadow dungeon in case it would be useful. Bodies that looked like they had been attacked by demons. The general manager of the Hyunmu Guild, who confirmed the fact at a glance, turned pale. No, these people aren't just hunters who will die in the Pyeongtaek dungeon, so how could this happen? Of course, this would not have been the case under normal circumstances. Unfortunately, during the raid on us, we were attacked by demon beasts. Starting with the results, Suho and Lim Dojun firmly ripped off the damage compensation for the tyranny of the Hunmu Guild. Reward money? That, of course, was taken for granted, and he received even more important things than money. It's a career. For Suho to establish a guild, what was more important than money was the dungeon. Suho, Lim Dojun, and Esil 
were close to the rookie mercenary group, which is currently maintained with only three hunters. So, finding a dungeon to attack in order to build a career was the most difficult thing. Of course, if you tried to join another raid, it was possible, but that was a problem as it was. It was because if Suho moved along with the pace of the other hunters, the level up efficiency would not come out, and it would take longer to clear the dungeon. However, the Hunmu Guild helped with that. No, rather than helping, the expression that I was robbed unilaterally was more appropriate. We'll share about 10 of our dungeons. Of course, each dungeon is not great, but it will be enough for careers to create a guild. The manager is really a good person. Are you an angel? Then you're the devil, you bustard. He was the general manager of the Hyunmu Guild who wanted to spit on Lim Dojun's brightly smiling face. He was a guy I really didn't want to mess with again. Ha, you really got a good bite. He gnashed his teeth inside. Anyway, all of this was the fault of manager Lee Young-ho. I don't know how much damage the guild suffered because of that idiot. It's not just a matter of money, but if you count the fact that you and CEO Jin Ho Yu have suffered because of this incident, you have suffered an astronomical loss. Yes, let's think of it as an investment anyway. The head of the Hyunmu Guild changed his mind. Anyway, accidents can happen anytime, anywhere. And after all, isn't the important thing to do? Since they actively compensated for the damages to this extent, CEO Jin Ho Yu must have felt relieved a little bit. Okay. Let's use this incident as an opportunity to request that our guild be included in the Level Up project once again. Thinking so, the head of the headquarters talked to Suho indirectly after he finished organizing the damage compensation. I am really sorry about this. Even if it is not compensation for damage this time, we plan to help Hunter Sung Suho in the future. Contact us anytime. Oh, and hopefully, talk to my uncle well. It was then. Chief Bo, it's a big deal. Oh, what else? Just as he was about to bring up the most important topic, he was suddenly called by a subordinate in a hurry. He endured his frown and asked for Suho's understanding for a moment. Sorry. My staff is a bit inconsistent. What the hell are you making a fuss about? However, even though the boss at work was very angry and glared at him, the employee of the Hyunmu Guild showed him the screen of the phone he was holding. Look at this article. It is said that this person has just arrived in Korea. Who the hell is coming? Uh. After checking the picture of the internet news he was holding out, the general manager opened his eyes wide and hurriedly accepted his phone. Suho and Lim Do-kyun, who became curious at the same time, glanced at the cell phone screen and soon saw very provocative headlines. Goliath arrived in Korea. Why is the Scavenger Guild's guild leader in Korea? Gray-haired old Goliath. A white-haired old man. In the photo, a muscular old man with white hair resembling a lion's mane was walking out of Incheon International Airport wearing sunglasses. Among the hunters, there is no one who does not know this old man's name. Thomas Andre? Why did this person suddenly come to Korea? A group of accidents that bring issues everywhere they go came to Korea. Recently I created a game for Android Energy Idol Tycoon. I could use a little support in promoting it. Just download it and play for a while. Thank you in advance. Chapter 107. This chapter is updated by Novels.pl, Thomas Andre. He was the master of America's representative large guild, the Scavenger Guild. Despite being an old man in his 70s, he was a world-class star who was active as an S-class hunter. The reason why he bothered to describe him as a star was because he was a celebrity who had already achieved so much even before he awakened as a hunter. Devil in the Ring Thomas Andre was the strongest UFC fighter that no one dared to match even before his awakening. A time when there was no such thing as magical powers or monsters on earth. Since he was in his 20s, he had already been an MMA fighter who had won the title of Humanity's Strongest with his pure force. Numerous challengers challenged his stronghold, but none could surpass him. In the end, he tried to retire without experiencing a single defeat. God did not allow his retirement. After Cataclysm, Thomas Andre, who was spending his old age leisurely drinking coffee with a friend, woke up before anyone else, as an S-class hunter, and revealing his overwhelming force to the world, he began catching and killing the monsters that appeared in the United States like rats. Ha ha! This is real power! How weak I was before! 
From then on, he had his second heyday. It was then that his nickname of the Devil in the Ring was replaced by a new nickname, Goliath. He was able to perfectly control his highly developed body even before he had magical powers, so it was very easy for him to adapt to his awakened ability. That's easy. Easy. Doesn't this feel like I've regained the power that originally belonged to me? He showed his strength to the fullest, like a fish in water. In the meantime, he realized how narrow the square ring he was confined to was. When fighting people, I couldn't bear to tear them to death, but I could tear the beasts apart as much as I wanted. In addition, the former becomes a murderer and is criticized by everyone, but the latter receives praise and gratitude from people, even if they commit as much as they like. What a wonderful world. Ha ha ha! Where is the magic beast again? Ha ha ha! Anyone who saw him brutally killing beasts with his bare hands, even through video media, would leave similar reviews. And, I don't know who the devil is. Rather, the beasts look pitiful? Please stop hating the beasts? What if the beasts become extinct because of Thomas? L? Isn't it necessary to create a beast protection group? S-class hunters are quite rare, but there are still a lot of them worldwide and each of them possessed an overwhelming force no less than that of Thomas Andre. However, it was impossible to compete for supremacy between S-class hunters because they did not have to fight each other. However, when someone said that Thomas Andre was the strongest hunter, no one dared to disagree, and the organization created around him was the Scavenger Guild. The only thing the Scavenger Guild revere is power. As a result, most of the hunters who gathered in the scavenger guild were also radical, and these days, the United States was rather struggling because of their tyranny. To think that the head of such a guild would suddenly visit Korea. After confirming the news, the head of the Hyunmu guild swallowed dryly. It was not easy for a person who was usually an S-class hunter to visit a foreign country unless there was a special purpose. The reason was simple, because it's dangerous. They are literally walking combat weapons. It was because they were dangerous people who could overthrow even one city in an instant if they wanted to. Especially, Thomas Andre was by far the most dangerous person among them. What the hell is going on? Why did Thomas Andre come to Korea? It seems like reporters are doing interviews in real time, but they are just saying things that I, I don't know what they mean. You don't know? What the hell are you talking about? The employee of the Hunmu Guild, who was skimming through the interviews, uploaded in real time at the urging of the headquarters, opened his mouth with his eyes fixed on his cell phone. Prophecy. Huh? You said you came because of the prophecy? Prophecy? Suddenly what? I flinched. At that moment, Suho, who was listening to their conversation from the side, subtly hardened his expression. For a moment. Maybe it's the Scavenger Guild? There was a moment that flashed through my mind the scavenger guild and the prophecy. Just in time, Verdo popped out of the shadows and looked at Suho. Little Lord, it seems that the guys I met at the pyramid last time also said something similar. I can't believe it. Ver did drive a wedge into Suho, who had a shy expression on his face. I'm sorry, but do you remember the proverb that you can't help but catch people? When I was young, when I was studying proverbs, I remember teaching me. It was then. Ah, I found it. Broadcast live. Coincidentally, Lim Dojin found and played the personal broadcasts of YouTubers at the airport. Just in time, Thomas Andre was answering the reporter's questions in the video. A white-haired old man. The rugged, muscular old man lifted up the sunglasses he was wearing, stared straight at the approaching screen, and opened his mouth. Yes. I came because of the prophecy. What? Do you speak Korean? Ah, what is the prophecy? Could I possibly tell you that with my bare mouth? Even his pronunciation was very Korean-like, as if you have been practicing for a long time, Thomas Andre said with a sly grin. Anyway, the prophecy is over, and now I'm going to find the messenger of death who killed my guild members. Messenger of death? Death tiger? Is it correct to use this word in this case? Um, Suho was convinced the moment he heard his last words. It's me. It's a small monarch. While everyone was watching Thomas Andre's video with interest, only Suho made eye contact with Ver and nodded with an awkward expression. This was no excuses. 
Manager Lee Young-ho would rather have died at the hands of demons because it was certain that Suho had killed the hunters from the scavenger guild who fought in the Pyramid of Amit. Of course, that side attacked me first, but it's okay to be like that. More than that, it seems that the evidence was destroyed, but this was discovered. Ah, could it be that the Asura Guild, who saved me then, opened its mouth? I should have killed him then. Rather than that, I'm a bit concerned about the prophecy. If it had been Suho not too long ago, he would not have believed in a prophecy that catches floating clouds as superstition. However, once he realized that his father was a divine being, he could not pass away even something shamanistic like a prophecy. Not to mention, Thomas Andre, the strongest S-class hunter, couldn't have come to Korea after seeing today's horoscope. If that prophecy then, Suho recalled the prophecy he had heard in Egypt. Sooner or later, life born from death will awaken from its seal, and that power will raise the dead. I think it was said to be a prophecy of some fortune teller, but now that I think about it again, it seems to be referring to me. At that time, it was the scavenger guild that came to the pyramid after hearing the prophecy, so there was a high probability that the prophecy mentioned by guild leader Thomas Andre was similar. That means eventually, hmm, it's me too. What are you going to do? If he really came to visit the little lord, Ver looked at Suho with a concerned expression. However, Suho only shrugged his shoulders with a shameless expression. Ah, what? What would he do without proof? I brought the entire pyramid. Let's just insist that we didn't do it. Ver thought. It seems that Sogunju Nim has matured a lot lately. It was Ver who nodded happily, saying that he seems to be gradually becoming more like his father. Huh? How dare you block my way? As soon as Thomas Andre came out of the airport, he saw the Korean Association hunters who stood in his way, and smiled with interest. His expression was like a bad boy contemplating how to disassemble this toy, and the Association hunters who faced him shuddered. Thomas Andre's sudden visit is against international law. Team leader Han jae yuk who had led the Association's hunters, stepped forward, suppressing his fear. Hmm. Are you the captain here? As the shadow of Thomas Andre was cast over team leader Han jae yuks face, team leader Han jae hyuk gritted his teeth with a determined expression. My life ends here. Seeing Goliath, the worst S-class hunter in history, up close, the pressure was no joke. As if on purpose, the suffocating energy that radiated from Thomas Andre's body was weighing heavily on team leader Han jae hyuk At that time, Thomas Andre's female secretary sighed lightly next to him and opened her mouth. Thomas, play around with that, and since you're tired, let's go find a place to stay. As soon as the female secretary finished talking, the pressure that had been weighing down team leader Han jae hyuk disappeared like a lie. Omg. Um, team leader Han jae hyuk who almost collapsed on the spot when his legs gave out at the moment, kept his eyes on Thomas Andre, who was chatting with the female secretary out of breath. Ew, aren't I tired yet? I am tired. It seems like you keep forgetting, but I'm not an awakener like you. Aha, yes, our Laura shouldn't be tired. Let's go to the hotel and adjust to the jet lag. Thomas Andre burst into laughter at the bitter remarks of his female secretary, Laura, who had already been accompanying him for 30 years and strode past the association hunters. Wait a minute, Thomas Andre, stand there! Thomas Andre, who had been walking forward at the cry of team leader Han jae hyuk who urgently called him from behind, looked back and smiled. You know what? No one has ever dared to stand in my way in my life. Creepy. A ferocious force that could only be felt from a giant monster began to radiate from his body again. Thomas. At that moment, Laura's voice stopped him from behind again. However, this time, Thomas Andre's runaway could not be stopped. He warned the association hunters with the most ferocious momentum. Can you hear me? If I say go, I go. If you want to stop me, bring at least S-class hunters from your country, not yours. Thomas. Oh, oh, oh. The airport was shaking as if it were about to collapse due to the terrible energy he emitted. Thomas. Stop it, Laura, no matter how you are. I got a taxi. Oh, already? At that moment, the air in the airport instantly became lighter as if all the fears had been lies. The people who were weighed down by the fear suddenly came to their senses and turned their eyes to Thomas Andre. Oh, it's narrow. He was trying hard to cram his huge body into a taxi. 
Recently, I created a game for Android Energy Idol Tycoon. I could use a little support in promoting it. Just download it and play for a while. Thank you in advance. Chapter 108. This chapter is updated by Novels.pl. Korean taxis are too small. Thomas America is the same size as a taxi. Aha. Okay? Well, I must have taken a taxi before. Thomas Andre forced his colossal body into the back seat of the cab and talked to Laura in the front seat. But is the hotel still far away? I have to go a long way. I heard you want to stay at the best hotel in Korea. I didn't know it would be this far. Listening to their conversation, the taxi driver quietly broke into a cold sweat in front of them. I'm scared to death. I burned it for no reason. I can't believe this foreigner is the famous Thomas Andrail. It's not an exaggeration at all. It was clear that the moment he stretched even a little, this taxi would be crumpled like a sheet of paper. Oh, uncomfortable. Shouldn't you have waited a little longer and got a bigger car? Hey, why are you so blocked today? Hurry, hurry. Every time he wriggled behind him, the taxi driver's spirit seemed to fly away. So, Laura. Thomas's eyes, crumpled in the back seat, suddenly became serious, and he brought up the main topic that had flown all the way to Korea. Did you find out Song Suho's current location? I'm still inquiring, but it won't be long. Even so, from the moment Laura got into the taxi, she kept looking at the work he had entrusted to her on her tablet PC. With cool blue eyes, she said while quickly skimming through the information sent by U.S. employees on her tablet. It is easy to find out the contact information of hunters in Korea. Because the land is so narrow, there is a saying that no matter where the hunters are, if they fall down, they are within reach. When you fall down, your nose touches you. That's an interesting expression. It was neither a proverb nor an exaggeration. Hunters with excellent physical abilities, especially Thomas Andre's physical abilities, could be reached in an instant in a small country like Korea with just a little bit of running around. By the way, Thomas, is the character of the prophecy Song Suho right? That's for sure. No matter how old you are, you are still not old enough to get dementia. Of course, I do not doubt him. But isn't this prophecy too specific compared to the previous prophecies? Hey, not really. Maybe the old woman got better at prophesying as she got older. Originally, fortune tellers look more spiritual as they get older, don't they? Thomas smirked and remembered the face of Norma Selner, the prophetess who had sent him here. Although she is in the same position as her, she is also really amazing. I would never have thought that he would be able to survive by waking up almost on the verge of death. It is very fortunate. Thomas, your one and only friend almost passed away. Wasn't Laura my friend? I'm sorry, I am strictly business. In spite of Laura's firm answer, Thomas only giggled as if he was having fun, tall. Just then, Laura's eyes, which had been reading the numerous information on the tablet, stopped at one point. I found it, Song Suho Hunter. Oh, okay, what are you doing? Hmm, if this information is correct, Thomas' eyes flashed as he found a delicious prey. However, Laura continued her explanation with a frown. A C-class summoner. What? Summoner? Besides, it's only C-class? It can't be? Since the information was recently registered, there will be almost no errors. And you know that Korean horsepower meters are quite good. Is there a possibility that it is another hunter with the same name? Of course it is possible. It's not like there aren't people with the same name. You will know that when you meet and check it in person, or just give it a good night's sleep and come back. Thomas Andre muttered with a smirk as if he were on his way to a delicious restaurant. But he'll have to hit it anyway. If someone dares to make me walk in vain, honey chestnuts could get very sick. It was a trip that he started last night impulsively, but this trip to Korea was very important to him. Glossy, or dungeon. According to Norma Selner's prophecy, the help of Song Suho, a Korean hunter, was essential to attack the place. And Norma Selner, who always made confusing prophecies by writing examples and metaphors that seemed familiar and unknown, picked it up this time and told me the name Song Suho. This was by no means something to be ignored, especially to Thomas Andre, who has been friends with her for decades. It's Korea. He was soaked in reminiscence while admiring the scenery of Korea passing by outside the taxi. It was definitely the first time I came to Korea in my life. However, the reason why fluent Korean was flowing out of his mouth 
from a while ago. It was because of a word that Norma Selner had suddenly suggested to him a long time ago. Thomas. I feel very free now that I am retired. How about learning Korean at least during this time? Korean? What is that? There is a country called Korea in East Asia. It's the language there. Why do I have to learn the language of that country all of a sudden when I'm old? Once you cook it, it might come in handy later. Holy sh! If Grandma says something like that, if you don't learn it, you'll be in big trouble. It was from then. He started learning Korean without knowing English. Norma Selner was a famous prophet even before her awakening. Of course, he announced his retirement, saying that his ability to predict had disappeared a long time ago. But nevertheless, he was a celebrity who occasionally came to ask for advice from political and business figures whenever there was an important matter. If such a person said, learn Korean, without context, there was no choice but to learn Korean diligently, even if it was embarrassing. Then later, I became completely immersed in Korean dramas. Maybe the old woman told me to watch a drama because I was retiring and looked so bored, or that I first saw my future living in Korean dramas. It was Thomas who, until recently, had only thought about Korea that much. However, since she came all the way to Korea in search of a hunter named Sung Soo Ho, she was secretly thinking that maybe this is the future Norma Selner saw. Hmm, it's Korea. I can't. My body is itching. I can't stand it. Thomas Andre's expression, which had been lost in thought, suddenly changed. Laura, I'm really sorry, but let's meet him first before we go to the hotel. What do you mean? Uh, are you okay? Are not you tired? Of course I am tired. It's become quite gentlemanly to ask out of courtesy when you're going to do whatever you want anyway. Awesome. I never thought I would hear such compliments from Laura. It's an insult. Anyway, I already found the address of Songsuo, so please go there. Little Lord. Vare's expression was more tense than ever. On the other hand, Suho was just ridiculous. No, do I really have to move? Why are foreigners coming to your house now? I'm sorry, but it seems that the master's personal information is now public property. Kugugugugu. A huge energy was running in a straight line towards Suho, who was resting at home for a long time. At first, I thought it was a dungeon break, or at least I thought that a monster like the Minotaur would come running. But it was a person. Foreigner, too. Coincidentally, the famous S-class hunter I saw on the news during the day was rushing towards this side with great honesty. Quajik! Quajik! It was such an enormous nuisance that the sidewalk blocks collapsed with a wobble whenever his legs stepped off the ground. Suho sighed and greeted him outside the house. There was no doubt that his target was himself as he ran so blatantly with energy. Oh what, could it be that you came to meet me? Eventually, Thomas Andre arrived in front of Suho. Suho just lifted his head and looked up at his face with a curious expression. How could a gray-haired grandfather be so muscular? The big old man, who looked at least two inches taller than Suho, had bulging muscles all over his body, vividly exuding his pod, resins. With this level, I'll be able to beat the Minotaur without magic. Suho reflected for a moment. I felt quite strong after leveling up recently, but like Ver's expression, I seriously considered whether I was still at the level of an ant larva. Thomas Andre lightly put Laura, a middle-aged female secretary who had been carrying it around his side with his big forearm, and asked Suho directly. Are you Song Suho? Wow, this foreign grandfather speaks Korean well. If Amut was a human, it would have felt like this. What is it that I was so scared that my mouth froze? Most do, though. As Suho didn't answer and just stared blankly at him, Thomas Andre smiled and showed his teeth in earnest. Wah! At that moment, tremendous speculation erupted from his whole body and began to press Suho. Still, you'll have to squeeze in an answer, if you don't want to die. No, it's all like this? Is there any grandfather who does not have such a case? Suho was dumbfounded and looked at him blankly. For now, I'm Song Suho. But, what kind of business does the old man have for me to come to see me at such an ambitious night? What, old man? Thomas' expression crumpled at Suho's words. Because I studied Korean diligently, the meaning was automatically translated in my head. Old man. Old man. Ha ha! Have you ever seen such a cheeky bustard? Laura, did you hear? How dare this cocky bustard call me an old man? What? No, that's how it works? 
Suho was genuinely perplexed. But in fact, no cowardly man dared to tell Goliath Thomas Andre that he was old. Okay, I will personally confirm that you are really the holy guardian of the prophecy. Thomas took control of the entire area, spewing out even greater speculation than just a moment ago. Coo coo coo! Quajik! Quajik! At the same time, an ignorant energy oppressed the space, and the ground they were standing on began to crack as if an earthquake had struck. Knowing that this would happen, Laura, who had been far away early, was shaking her head as if she couldn't stop it. In this ignorant gravitational field like a natural disaster, Suho is coo goo goo goo. Hmm. For a moment Thomas Andre felt a chill. How can a mere C-class hunter stand still, enduring his own magic field? Recently, I created a game for Android Energy Idol Tycoon. I could use a little support in promoting it, just download it and play for a while. Thank you in advance. Chapter 109. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Kugugugu. Ha. Suho, who was under the weight of an enormous magical field, was not taken aback or scared, but rather sighed. There was another human like Amut here. Whether it's the size or the age, he couldn't understand why the old men he encountered were all so tough. What is it? Can you stand this? Thomas Andre was genuinely perplexed. According to Laura's information, Suho was only a C-class hunter, and the energy you feel when you see Suho right in front of you is B-level, no matter how high you put it. But what kind of situation is this? Even if he didn't really exert his strength, it was a magical field that could crush at least one guy like this. But how? How can I bear this? But there was a fact he hadn't guessed at all. Hunters aren't all about magical power. Didn't even Thomas Andre himself possess a highly developed physical ability that was already called the strongest of mankind even before awakening? When the overwhelming physical power was accompanied by magic, the synergy was indescribable. But that was the same for Suho. Oh, oh, oh. Hunter's rank is determined by the magical power possessed. And obviously, Suho's magic power was relatively low compared to Thomas. But as far as strength goes, strength? It's not like I've been trained in vain. A confident smile appeared on Suho's lips as he took Thomas Andre's magic field head on. Daily quest. Rigid body training. With this alone, Suho was steadily receiving three stat points a day, and all of that was based only on strength stats. The results were being displayed right now, at this very moment. I'm familiar with the gravitational field, her smile. When Thomas saw Suho's relaxed expression, sparks flew in Thomas's eyes. You dare to laugh in front of me? Whoop! At that moment, sincerity began to enter the energy that was radiating from Thomas. Then, Suho's expression began to harden little by little, and he said, he changed his mind. Thomas went beyond simply fighting the flag and reached out to grab Suho's neck with his huge hand. Even if you are the child of the prophecy, I will first organize the ranks and lead you. Whoa! At this point, Suho had to make a decision. Will you fight or retreat? However, Suho had already made a decision from the beginning. Of course I have to fight. Suho brightened his eyes with curiosity and began to raise his energy in earnest. I got a chance to fight an S-class hunter. It was just what I was curious about. Apostle of Iterim. It's, it's not Iterim, it's just and after struggling so hard, I narrowly won. It shouldn't be like this. I just couldn't stop at that point. In order to ultimately reach the place where my father is. In order to stand proudly by my father's side and wage war against Iterim. Shouldn't I at least become the strongest among humans? If it's only to the point of being defeated by a human, then you don't even have the right to set foot on the battlefield where your father is standing anyway. So I was curious. From the moment I learned that Thomas Andre, an S-class hunter who was nicknamed the strongest of mankind, came to Korea. How strong is the S-class? That thought didn't leave my head. But what kind of windfall is this to come from the other side first? Quack. Just like that, Suho held the hands of Thomas Andre, who was approaching. The tremendous grip you feel at that moment. What? For a moment, I saw Thomas Andre's expression with his eyebrows raised in interest. In an unexpected situation, the corner of his mouth twitched and went up. Are you serious? Are you sure you want to fight with me right now? It was really absurd. The reason why Thomas visited Korea in the first place was not because he thought highly of Suho, but because of Norma Selner's prophecy. 
I came all the way here to try to attack the Glacier Dungeon. The Glacier Dungeon was a demonic realm that even the Scavenger Guild couldn't readily che lenge. As the name suggests, it was a very difficult environment to endure just by entering the dungeon covered in extreme cold. Even because of the presence of powerful magic beasts, many hunters have set foot there but have not been able to return. In fact, there was a hunter who used strength in the Scavenger Guild, but there was also a case where he led his subordinates confidently, saying that the cold was nothing, and then returned after suffering a lot and just before freezing to death. Norma Selner prophesied that a Korean hunter named Seung Soo Ho would be helpful in clearing the dungeon that even the Scavenger Guild had not been able to clear. Right after that, Thomas Andre decided to go to Korea. But to my dismay, when I arrived in Korea, I saw that the Seung Soo Ho in the prophecy was only a sea-level summoner. I dared to look funny to such a guy. Just kill me? To begin with, Thomas Andre had never experienced a situation in his life where he had to ask someone for a favor like this. If you want something, you just order and direct. If I pull this ridiculous guy's arms off his shoulders, will Korean healers be able to fix it? Or tearing all limbs apart? Thomas, calm down. Laura, who felt that the situation was not serious from afar, heard a voice urgently dissuading him. Thomas, you don't intend to kill him, do you? Don't forget our purpose. But when he felt like this, no one could stop Thomas. No matter how old he is, he is truly a villain on the battlefield. Because there was no history of sending a child who dared to show off his strength in front of him alive. Rather, he gave more strength to the arms that held Suo's hands. Don't worry, Laura. What a wonderful world these days are. No matter how broken I am, the healers will save me. Ha ha ha! His forearms swelled up as he let out a ferocious laugh. However, the problem was that Suho, who confronted him, also showed it with an extremely ferocious expression. Come as much as you like. The strength skill alleviates the pain. The strength skill alleviates the pain. Every time I practiced rigid physical training, the bones in my body were broken and shattered, so this level of pain was a daily occurrence. Amut always emphasized. Even in such pain, drawing out the power of the whole body is a true warrior. The master and the disciple. Suho could now wholeheartedly agree with Amut's words. Numerous mad-blooded demons he encountered in the demon realm. They had already spread the photohemorrhagic poison all over their bodies, so just being alive was painful. Even in the midst of the pain, they were warriors who burned their will to fight with only one thought to kill and eat their opponents. Isn't Suho himself the one who killed all those demons and survived until now? If the opponent only attacks by force, there is a good chance. Suho sincerely intended to win the contest of strength against Thomas Andre. Qua! Ha! Qua, 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 qua! As the energy of Suho and Thomas Andre clashed in earnest, a typhoon of tremendous magical power raged in all directions centered on the two. Everything in sight began to shatter. Thomas! Thomas! Stop it! Even in the midst of this, Laura's voice desperately trying to stop Thomas resonated like an echo. But then, kick! There was a black sedan that just arrived here. The door opened and the person who stepped out was none other than Yu Jin Ho. Whoa, fortunately, it's not too late. Quickly grasping the situation, he checked the safety of Suho, who was in confrontation with Thomas Andre, and wiped his heart. Yu Jin Ho, who had been checking Suho's situation in real time because of the Hinmu Guild today. He received word from his secretary a while ago that Thomas Andre, an S-rank hunter who had visited Korea today, was heading towards Suho's house. If I hadn't had memories of my previous life, I would have passed it on unintentionally. Yu Jinho was a person whose memories of the now forgotten time period had returned, and he clee orally remembered what kind of person Thomas Andre was. And it was never a good memory that I'm afraid to even think about. Ah! The only thing he did in that memory was to struggle in pain and let out a scream. I never thought I'd encounter the scavenger guild like this again. It was a shock. No matter how old he became, Thomas Andre was still Thomas Andre. Yu Jinho could find himself feeling a surge of fear just by looking at his face. Of course, even in his memories of the past, Thomas had never directly harmed him. However, he was captured by the hunters of the scavenger guild, who were his subordinates and was tortured until he died. 
and I remembered exactly why. At the time, I was my older brother's only weakness. Recalling himself who was so helpless at the time, Jin Ho Yu gritted his teeth. And the moment I heard the news that the scavenger guild had come to Korea again, Yu Jin Ho had no choice but to order his staff to find out and report his every move in real time, because I was afraid. The Thomas Andre he remembers was a man who didn't know where to go. If the self at that time was Sung Jin Woo's only weakness. Because Suho became that kind of person this time. I had no intention of taking any more time. I don't know what purpose Thomas came to Suho, but there was only one way to solve this situation. Yu Jin Ho immediately recognized his secretary, Laura, and quickly approached her. And standing next to him, with an extremely serious expression, stopped this contextless flag fight. Thomas Andre. Eugenio called his name clearly in a calm and respectful tone. Anyway, if you're an S-class hunter, you'll be aware of everything happening around you, even during this chaos, and your own voice will reach his ears anyway. My name is Jin Ho Yu. I am Yu Jin Ho, CEO of Agentsoft. Kwa 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 kwa. The whole world was shaking as if the world was about to change, but he just spoke his own words. If I don't step back right away, I have no choice but to use my hands. What? wriggling Thomas, who was thoroughly focused only on Suho, reacted to those words for the first time. He already knew that a new person had approached nearby. However, the energy I can feel from Yu Jin Ho is only D-class. The cheeky guy in front of me is also not enough, so this time even that stupid fool dares to talk nonsense to himself. Thomas glared at Yu Jin Ho with an expression that was truly absurd. What else are you? What is the company president like? You were freaking out, because you wanted to die. Thomas, stop it! At that time, Laura, who was next to Yu Jin Ho, shouted with a more serious expression than ever. CEO Jin Ho Yu is the largest shareholder of our guild. Oh, and you were such a great person. At that moment, Thomas bro, life completely disappeared. Recently, I created a game for Android Energy Idol Tycoon. I could use a little support in promoting it. Just download it and play for a while. Thank you in advance. Chapter 110. This chapter is updated by Novels. Well, Thomas Andre sat across from Suho with an embarrassed expression, and next to them were his secretary Laura and representative Yu Jin Ho. Sorry, unconditionally, Thomas is the fault of this human being. I ask for mercy. Ignoring Thomas, Laura was apologizing to Suho, to Suho and Yu Jin Ho on behalf of him. In particular, he had no choice but to pray unconditionally to Yu Jin Ho, the major shareholder of the Scavenger Guild. Stop talking about Thomas and apologize first. Kerm. No, but we are known as scavengers, but for just a few pennies. The moment our stock is cut in half because of CEO Jin Ho Yu, I know that your ransom is also cut in half. Adventure. I was a bit overdone, CEO Yu. It was Thomas Andre who hesitantly straightened up at Laura's words and sat down. Even so, I didn't forget to add a word. Ha ha ha. This is all happening because I am not good at Korean, so let's just laugh and pass it on. For that matter, your pronunciation is really good. Even if you are Korean, I will believe you. This is because I am such a fan of Korean dramas. I've been watching a lot of Revenge lately, so my Korean is a bit on the extreme side. Thomas, just apologize. Just apologize. Laura let out a sigh and shook her head at the gesture of Thomas, who was giggling and trying to pass it off as a joke. Even so, the reason why I couldn't help but notice Yu Jin Ho was because Laura, who was the first to come to Korea, knew the value of the brand Ajin Soft very quickly. As in Soft, a global company leading virtual reality games around the world. It is said that the hunter world and the game world are completely separate businesses, but from the point of view of companies, in the end, large companies were bound to be intertwined in some way. In particular, the fact that Agensoft is preparing a game featuring hunters named Only I Level Up was a great amount of high-quality information that was secretly spread among entrepreneurs. Recently, information has been released to the public little by little, but in fact, few people know that Agensoft started planning the project from the moment the cataclysm occurred. And as if proving that fact, CEO Jin Ho Yu had already been steadily buying stocks of large guilds around the world since then. As if predicting in advance that the share price of hunter guilds would skyrocket the moment a virtual reality game featuring real hunters was released. 
CEO Jin Ho Yu is truly a scary person, that they are making their own market and buying all related stocks before the market is created. That's not something anyone can do. Unlike Thomas Andre, who was only strong and immature, Laura was the one who knew the true face of CEO Jin Ho Yu more than anyone else. So I had no choice but to do my best in dealing with him. Anyway, thanks to that, the situation was resolved amicably, and Yu Jin Ho let out a sigh of relief. Whoa, I'll get it right away, but why did Mr. Thomas come to our Suho? Hmm, I will explain it myself. When the atmosphere seemed to be getting better, Thomas smiled and looked at Suho. Song Suho, we need your help. No, suddenly, Suho looked at him with a genuinely absurd expression. Do you think someone who needs help will come and attack you like you're going to kill them? Is your brain full of muscles or even senility? However, there was a part where Suho was stabbed right away to be angry with him over this. Okay, at first, I was going to drag it in moderation, but I never dreamed that it would be this difficult. I'm sorry anyway. Apologize. Uh-huh. I apologized. So let go of your anger, man. I'm not saying anything because you killed our guild members. Hearing those words, Suho flinched and almost lost his expression. But on the outside, he maintained a shameless expression and responded to his words. I don't understand what you mean at all. What are you talking about now? Our Suho has lived only in Korea all his life. How can a guy who has never been a brawl declaim to have killed a scavenger guild member? Well done. Keep pushing. It was Ver who was cheering Yu Jin Ho hard in the shadows. Heh <laughs> heh. Actually, that's a very strange part for me too. As if he knew it would come out like that, Thomas grinned and leaned back in his chair with a relaxed attitude. Of course there is no evidence, no witnesses. Not only the corpses of our guild members who went missing in the first place, but even the pyramids that they said they went in to attack at will have disappeared. CEO Jin Ho Yu, we don't have anything to argue for on this, so you can pretend you didn't hear. Laura, who was commenting next to me, raised her glasses and said, But I heard that the Asura Guild hunters who survived and returned from the pyramid submitted strange reports. He said he became acquainted with a Korean figure called Hunter Song Suho. I knew it would be like this. Little Lord, I must rip their mouths apart. Burr stood up from under the shadows in a huff. Suho stomped on the guy with his foot and talked casually. I don't know who it is, but it seems to be the same person. Of course it could be, but that is fine. After all, the guild members who went missing there were always a nuisance that caused a lot of trouble. Okay, it doesn't matter where or by whom those idiots were beaten. Of course, if I were in my prime, I wouldn't let go of those who dared touch my property. Thomas rolled his eyes and gnashed his teeth but he didn't spew out a life so hastily as before. Rather, he muttered in a low voice mixed with a sigh, with a bitter expression on his face. Because I have much more important things to do now. Thomas looked into Suho's eyes and spoke in a serious tone. Then you need to help me. What the hell are you asking for help with? I'm just a C-class hunter. At this point, Suho also became curious. It doesn't matter if you're C-class or E-class, because Norma Selner's prophecies have never been wrong. Norma Selner? Could it be that the prophet prophesied about Suho? The first to react to those words was Yu Jin Ho. He was the only one of these four who had memories of his past life, so he knew better than anyone how important Norma Selner's prophecy was. Okay, the old woman made a prophecy by picking out the Korean song Suho. Only this guy can help me. When he pointed out himself, Suho asked, What kind of help do you mean? I don't know, because the grandmother's prophecy ended there, but my grandmother told me to tell you this. Glacier Dungeon. Maybe there you can find a clue about your mother. Suo and Yu Jinho, who suddenly heard words they couldn't even imagine, opened their eyes at the same time. Even Burr, who was eavesdropping from below, couldn't help but be astonished. Cah! A clue about Heen. Little Lord, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. Be quiet for a moment. Organize your thoughts. Suho's mind suddenly felt like it was completely messed up. Does this make sense? The first words of an uninvited foreign guest who came from a completely unexpected place are the actions of a mother who disappeared a few years ago. Yu Jinho hurriedly looked at Suho. Su Suho, Norma Selner's prophecies are to be believed. You may not know, but he is. 
even the small man knows. Once upon a time, my lord told me, that old woman was a prophet who even answered a prophecy about a war between the Shadow Legion and the Lords. I don't know what a glacier dungeon is, but this is one I absolutely must go to. While Burr was rambling in the shadows like that, Thomas's secretary, Laura, was persuading Suho with a serious face. I can vouch for Norma Selner's prophecy, as I heard it with him. He didn't say more details, but he said that if you help us, it will definitely help the Song Suho hunter in some way. I'll think about it for now. Suho managed to open his mouth while calming his complicated mind for a moment. In response, Thomas chuckled and said, Yes, yes, well thought out, I knew you would accept it. T Homa's Song Suho hunter replied that he would think about it. Please study Korean more. That word is that word. It was Thomas who accepted Suho's answer as he pleased and laughed heartily. Of course you're going? After Thomas went back to the hotel, Ver was stomping his feet anxiously at Suho who came home. No matter how much Hain Nim is blessed by his lord, in the end, he is just an ordinary human being. Even at this moment, just thinking about where and what kind of hardships Swine is going through makes Swine so worried. Ha <laughs> ha! Ver, clinging to Suho's shoulder, wept bitterly. Of course, he said he would think about it, but in fact, Suho's answer was fixed. Of course I will go. It was the first clue about her mother found after several years of disappearance. Even if the prophecy was false, it was right to go and check it unconditionally. But the reason he was hesitant to answer now was another matter. Glacier Dungeon. The problem is that there is absolutely no information about where it is. I don't know where it was, but it was a dungeon that even an S-class hunter would have a hard time with. I was going to enter such a place, but I couldn't answer that I would go in without any information, especially if there is a mother's clue there. Judging by Thomas Andre's temper today, there was a very high probability that he would kidnap him on the spot and take him to the United States the moment he answered yes. It's obvious that I'm senile. It's because he's an old man who came to ask for help and started attacking without hesitation. Let's be careful and careful again. It wouldn't be strange if the old man came and kidnapped him, even tomorrow morning. Before that, it was urgent to find out information about the Glacier Dungeon as soon as possible. But the problem was that even Thomas Andre didn't have much information about it. In the first place, the Scavenger Guild itself was not a guild with good information for a large guild. The reason, ironically, was that next to Thomas, the guild leader, was Mrs. Norma Selner, a famous prophet. With an excellent prophet right next to him, his ability to collect information while working hard was gradually deteriorating. So after sending Thomas back to the hotel, Suo asked Yu Jinho to gather as much information as possible about the Glacier Dungeon, and he also began to track information using HunterNet and other means. If you're sure there's a mother's clue there, you can't make a mistake. I have to be fully prepared and go. That was then. Suo's phone rang. Anyway, my phone never gets a break. Perhaps, since Suho became a hunter, it was his cell phone that suffered more than anyone else. Is this a number you don't know? Suho looked at the number on the screen and made a puzzled expression. I suspected it was spam for a moment, but it could have been a call from Thomas or Laura, so I pressed the call button. Then, the voice that came from the other side was a completely different person. Song Suho Hunter! I'm here! I'm Leo Singh! Who was it? Suho covered his phone with his hand and looked at Ver. Recently I created a game for Android Energy Idol Tycoon. I could use a little support in promoting it. Just download it and play for a while. Thank you in advance. Chapter 111. This chapter is updated by Novels.pl. Is this the country of the Song Suho Hunters? As he left the airport, Leo Xing's face was convoluted. Rio Singh, the raid leader of the Asura Guild. He was an Indian B-class hunter who fought the scavenger guild with Suho in Egypt. Although he came to Korea to meet Suho, the situation he was in was not good. I never thought I would be demoted, relegation. The vagueness of those two letters was heavy. Not long ago, he went to a dungeon in Egypt to build up his performance and came back with a solid taste of failure. The guild leader of the Asura guild held all the responsibility for him, who barely managed to return with his life far from achieving any significant results. 
In the process, Lyo Singh came to report everything he had experienced. The difficulty of the Pyramid Dungeon was much more dangerous than expected. The tyranny of the Scavenger Guild, which monopolized the place without permission. In particular, at this point, Leo Singh repeatedly emphasized the story of the Korea's Sung Suho hunter who saved them in crisis. I couldn't help it. For Leo Singh, it was because the relationship with Sung Suho was actually the only achievement he had achieved in the pyramid. Guild leader. He was a strong hunter, like an incarnation of Asura, and without him the pyramid would have become our tomb. Asura's incarnation? That hunter was that strong. Talk about it in more detail. When the guild leader showed interest in Suho, Leo Singh talked about Suho with more enthusiasm. After hearing the story, the guild leader rubbed his chin in interest and nodded. Hmm. You are definitely an extraordinary person. It's definitely a good thing from the guild's point of view that you've been interacting with such a hunter. It was a good choice to make friends with him by giving him a dungeon item as a gift. Thank you, guild leader. Good. In that sense, I will give you a special mission. Ryo Singh, you should immediately go to Korea and recruit Song Suho Hunter. Yes? Are you saying I'm going to be a scout myself? Then you should go yourself, who is close to you. Go to Korea, ask how much he is paid in the guild he is currently in, and scout him for an appropriate ransom. Oh, and don't even think about coming back until you recruit him. At the guild leader's last words, Leo Xing finally realized... Although the justification was claiming to be a scout, in fact, this was the guild leader's last consideration for himself. But I couldn't help but ask directly, then, what will happen to my raid leader position in the meantime? It's not your part to get involved. It's cut. He had no choice but to accept reality. He tried to climb to a higher place by accumulating performance, but he even lost the position of raid leader, but it's still too early to give up. Despite this situation, Lyo Xing has not lost hope yet. The last hope left for you. Because there was Song Suho. As long as I recruit him, the guild leader will see me again. Because he had witnessed the battle of Song Suho right in front of his eyes, he could be sure. The image of him wielding twin swords and slaughtering his enemies was truly the incarnation of Asura. He was a talent more suited to the Asura guild than anyone else. If he joins the guild and shows great performance, I, who recruited him, will be promoted as well. Leo Singh was confident. Before I came here, I was fully prepared to convince Suho. This is the way out. Leo Singh's eyes were unusual as he skillfully read signs written in Korean. Only a week, that's how long it took me to master Korean perfectly. Even so, he was a well-known scholar in India until the cataclysm. There was nothing difficult about learning a new foreign language to a conversational level. Okay, can do. Let's think of this as a new opportunity, not a demotion. And this was a good thing for Song Suo Hunter as well, because he also wants to expand into a wider world than this narrow country, Belt Ring. He moment he turned on his phone outside the airport, messages from the guild began to arrive as if he had waited. I found out the contact information of Leo Xing Song Suo Hunter. Contact us here. Heh, is it already? It's fast too. Leo Singh's expression showed pride. After all, the information power of the Asura Guild is the best in India. Digging up the information of hunters in other countries was nothing. But that was then. Tring! 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 Yes! After that, his eyes widened as he checked the contents of the urgent messages that arrived one after another. What is this? Information about Song Suho was leaked to the Scavenger Guild. Emergency. Thomas Andre took a private plane and departed for Korea. Urgent. Thomas Andre arrives in Korea. Emergency. The Korean Hunter Association failed to tie Thomas Andre's feet at the airport. Urgent. We are currently tracking Thomas Andre's movement through close cooperation with the Korea Association. Urgent. The prediction that Thomas Andre is visiting Sung Suho is certain. This is really a big deal. Realizing the seriousness of the situation, Leo Singh's complexion turned white. Even so, the Scavenger Guild was panicking recently when the guild members who went to Egypt did not come back. And as a result of the investigation, they found out that they entered the pyramid and disappeared from the earth together with the pyramid. If you look that far, the case would have just fallen into the labyrinth. I never thought information would leak from us. 
the scavengers, these bullies again. For a large guild, the scavenger lacked information. Ironically, the reason was that Thomas Andre, the guild leader, was close friends with the famous prophet Norma Selner. There was a magical prophet right next to him, so naturally, he had to go out on his own to find information. Then, when he needed information, he always used this method to extort information from other guilds. Whatever the case, things got out of hand. Considering Thomas Andre's personality, there was no way he would leave the people involved in the deaths of his guild members alone. The Saint Guardian Hunter is in danger. It was Ryo Singh who urgently contacted Suho. After some time, when he arrived at the area where Suho was, Leo Singh was shocked. What the hell happened here? Had a storm swept through it? Or did the earthquake happen only in this area? Sidewalk blocks that were horribly broken and smashed. Asphalt shredded and crushed like a spider's web. Leo Singh couldn't keep his mouth shut at the surrounding scenery where everything he could see was half destroyed. Thomas Andre. Thomas has already been looking for Song Su Lake. Leo Singh calmed his startled heart and scanned the surroundings thoroughly. After all, he is a specialist who started from the bottom of the Harsh Asura Guild and was quickly promoted to the leader of the raid in just two years. With a keen eye coupled with his own seasoned experience, he could deduce what kind of battle was taking place here with little visible information. Fire! I saw it! Leo Singh's eyes were wide open, and an illusion of clashing fictional characters was drawn in front of him. Once one, Thomas Andre stood here and used a magic field. It was clearly visible in Leo Singh's eyes. Thomas Andre, the figure of a gigantic silhouette unfolding a terrifying magic field centered on this place, and two, the other party stands here and uses that magic field. Startled, but something was strange. Wait a minute. After reading the situation, Leo Singh got goosebumps. You got through this? Thomas's magic field? Even after washing my eyes again, it was clear. The opponent who was hit by Thomas Ray's magic field must have easily received the pressure. It seemed that he even had a power struggle with Thomas Andre inside the magic field. Looking at the traces left on the half-destroyed land, it was clear. The problem is the outcome of the match. My God. Lyo Singh was astonished. Is this possible? Is it equal to that Thomas Andre, the strongest weapon of mankind? How could this happen? There was no sign of using any other skill, so it must have been a clash of pure power and power. Even so, this makes no sense. No, no, no. It makes sense. Realizing the tremendous truth, Leo Singh trembled on the spot as if he had been struck by lightning. That's right. At that time, he was holding back his power because he was afraid the pyramid would collapse. Looking back, at that time, Suho leisurely left to hunt the giant centipede that had entered the pyramid, although he discouraged him, saying that he was obviously dangerous. You really had the confidence to hunt that centipede. Oh my god. In the end, only Liaoxing realized the whole truth. He no longer felt sad about being demoted. Information is power. Unwillingly, he had learned the advanced information that Sung Suho was a Goliath level before anyone else. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I have to recruit the Saint Guardian Hunter at all costs. Sung Suho finally appeared in front of him who was so determined. However, even after clashing with Thomas Andre, Leo Singh couldn't help but be astonished at his appearance, which was so fine. Leo Singh? Sung Guardian Hunter, Namaste. Finally, Singh realized that the moment had come to demonstrate his mastery of the Korean language. Now is the time to let your splendid speech skills shine. First of all, an apology. After that, we'll make a scouting offer to protect you from Thomas Andre. A truly perfect scenario. He desperately apologized to Suho with an extremely sincere look. Sung Suho, I'm sorry. It's because of Thomas Andrena, it's okay? Hmm? Thomas is scary. Sign up? Asura Zoa. What are you talking about again? It seems to be a new type of voice fishing master. Asura Zoa, join. Suho was just devastated. Do I really have to move? Following Thomas Andre, the second foreigner came to visit today, and neither of them were insane. At this point, my personal information seems to be a real public good. How did you find out the alternate phone number? How did you know the address? Heck, even recently, even the Hunmu Guild, which is only known in Korea, came to visit his house, so I wonder if anyone can't. 
However, apart from Suho's dejection, this moment was the most serious for Leo Singh throughout his entire life. He explained in detail what had happened to Suho. I told the guild leader, Song Suho is a strong hunter, between our Jingu. It was an explanation I did my best without needing to summarize. Kiek! Did I say we were friends now? Ver, who had been holding on to him, burst out of the rage he had been holding back and jumped out of the shadows. A traitor who dared to sell out the little lord, come here shamelessly, a worm that would not be happy even if it was divided into five parts for this crime of treason. But what does it mean? I don't know difficult words. Easy, easy, keek. When Liu Xing tilted his head with a puzzled expression, Burr's vitality shook. Then I chose the word juiciom juiciom. Hmm. Tearing the limbs for treason. It's hard. Easy, easy. Pull off the arms and legs from the torso and tear off the hair. Tilt. Easier and easier. Oh yeah. You really can't speak Korean, you bastard. Burr eventually snarled in his face with clear intent to kill. You bad human. Right, I'm bad. Namaste. In his serious eyes, leaning and joining both hands, Burr turned his head to Suo. Little lord, can I chew and eat this human brain? No, more than that. Indeed, Suo suddenly smiled kindly and looked at Leo Shing. Leo Sing, Thomas Andre is here to kill me. Did you know? I know. I'm very sorry. Only in words? Huh? Are you sorry for just words? Suho was smiling brightly. Recently, I created a game for Android Energy Idol Tycoon. I could use a little support in promoting it. Just download it and play for a while. Thank you, Inahara. Vance. Chapter 112. This chapter is updated by novels.pl. Suho thought. It just went well. The Asura Guild that Leo Singh belonged to was one of the most popular guilds in India. If it was the Asura Guild, it might have known information that the Scavenger Guild didn't know. I need information. That information? Which? Information about dungeons. Suho directly asked Lyo Singh, who was watching him with a nervous expression. Do you know about the Glacier Dungeon? Glacier? How long is that? It must have been a difficult word for Leo Singh. Lyo Jing quickly turned on the translator to find out the meaning and his expression brightened. Ah, Glacier Dungeon. I know there. You know? Really? Suho's eyes widened. I've been asking, but I'm sure you know. Verdo was also surprised and grabbed Leo Singh by the collar and yelled at him. Even though those two arms were finger-thick, their momentum was brutal. Now that's true. If you lie to prolong your life, I will tear you limb from limb. Kek kek, I really know. Asura Zoa. There is a lot of Asura information. It was Ryo Singh, who even in the midst of embarrassment, was well informed about promoting the guild. However, it was not a real exaggeration, but in reality, the Asura Guild belonged to a guild with quite good information. In the first place, the Scavenger Guild was only weak in information compared to its size. It was normal for most guilds to make an effort to build their own database by buying and selling each other's information. And the Scavenger was also planning to change its policy to further strengthen its information power with this incident as an opportunity. At the unexpected income, Suo said that he was doing well and his eyes lit up. Did you say sorry to me? So can you tell me everything you know about glacial dungeons? Not a single detail left behind. Yes? Why are you there? I decided to enter that dungeon sooner or later with Thomas Andre. What? At those words, Lyo Singh trembled as if struck by lightning. What did you hear now? Where are you going with Thomas Andre? In Glacier Dungeon? No, very dangerous. Everyone lives there. I have to go even if it is dangerous. My mother might be in that dungeon, Flinch. Leo Singh's expression hardened at Suho's determined words. Uh, why is your mother here? Anyway, yes. It's not exactly my mother, but my mother's clue. Suho explained it in a condensed way so that he could understand it as much as possible, and unintentionally, the words were more persuasive. Lyo Singh shook his head with a serious expression. It was difficult to judge the situation because there was so much information coming in at once. Song Suho's mother is in the Glacier Dungeon? It must be a dungeon known only to a very small number of guilds yet? It seems that the preliminary research on Siang Su Lake was insufficient. I never thought Song Suho's mother was also a hunter. Is that a level hunter to enter the Glacier Dungeon? No, more important than that. The problem was the name Thomas Andre that came out of Suho's mouth. Why did Suho enter the dungeon with Thomas Andre? For a moment. 
Could it be that the purpose of his visit to Sung Suho was not for revenge, but for recruiting? I suddenly woke up. Feeling giddy, Lyo Sing hurriedly turned his gaze around to see the devastated landscape around him. Looking back at the traces that Suho and Thomas Andre created while clashing, it was impressive, and I realized, now I know. If Thomas Andre had put all his strength into it, it couldn't have ended just like this. The interview was held here. It was a test of Song Suo's strength. What kind of interview is so lousy? That was understandable enough when I recalled Thomas Andre's usual personality. Feeling like he was cut in the line by a hair's breadth, Lyo Singh felt desperate. Couldn't you have already signed a contract? It doesn't seem like it if you look closely. He swallowed dry saliva and asked Suho directly. Join the Song Suho scavenge, our guild? No? Why me? No. Lyo Singh's expression suddenly brightened, and with a determined expression, he banged his chest. I know. I'll tell you about the Glacier Dungeon. Suho's eyes widened at the difficult answer. Done. I was lucky. Information about dungeons is more precious than a thousand gold. In particular, information on places that are still unknown, such as the Glacier Dungeon, is difficult to convert. Even from Ryo Singh's point of view, it was a sensitive matter that could directly or indirectly cause economic damage to the guild if leaked. But now wasn't the time for Leo Singh to slow down. We can't have this kind of talent stolen from another guild right in front of our eyes. He quickly checked to see if there were any other hearing ears around. Confidently, he started listing the information he knew to Suo one by one. It is very cold there. Breathing, eating, sleeping, walking are all dangerous. It's a glacier, so it's natural. Anything else? It is really very cold. It's too cold, so the action slows down. Debuff area. Debuff area. Small lord, it seems that the place is cursed with slowness in a wide range. This information was so important that even Burr intervened. It's not simply a matter of the weather, but a dungeon with a curse that has a direct adverse effect during battle. But, it has nothing to do with me. However, this was only a blessing for the guardian individual and would be a definite risk factor for other hunters who would move together as a group. Okay, and again? Hmm. When Suho nodded and asked again, Liu Xing hesitated for a moment, because this is really important information. This is a secret, promise? Huh. Promise. What are you so lazy about? I live in the Glacier Dungeon Ice Elves. A lot. What? Ice Elf? A strangeness appeared in Suo's eyes. If you were an Ice Elf, it was a rare beast that was rarely seen in dungeons. However, the information Ryo Sing gave me was very different from the Ice Elves' habits listed on HunterNet. Aren't Ice Elves originally meant to go in pairs? Do you only shoot bows from a distance? Right. However, Glacier Dungeon is different. In response to Suo's question, Leo Singh spoke clearly, using a translator to avoid any misunderstanding. There is a tribe of ice elves living there, at least hundreds of known numbers. Hundreds? This was the advanced information the Asura Guild had. Huh. Glacier Dungeon is the country of ice elves. Meanwhile, even at this moment, the hunters who recklessly set foot in the Glacier Dungeon were being pursued helplessly. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. Pure white snow. Shush, 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 shush. Arrows rained down on the cold wind that would freeze even your breath. The arrows pouring down from all directions were relentlessly aiming for their lives. Puppy pew. Keep. My leg. Dozens of arrows were stuck in their backs and legs as they fled. However, the expressions of the hunters crawling on the floor, saying that they would try to survive somehow, were full of desperation. Hey, those tenacious bustards. They intend to kill us by drying us out. There was no hope here anymore. Never thought that they, who were hunters, would fall into a miserable prey. And there were hundreds of hunters who were indifferently looking down at them from a high place in despair. Ice Elf. They aimed their bows at the strangers who invaded this land with cold eyes. Hundreds of bows. A rain of arrows pouring down from there. Nonsense. Ice Elves swarm. If I had known this place was like this, I would never have entered. The ice elves known to the public were relatively docile, monsters that were found with very rare probability. They always had a habit of sticking together, always carrying a crude bow and arrow made of wood in their hands. Strangely, however, they were so-called non-professional mobs who never attacked until someone approached them first. Even the moment the hunters attack the dungeon and the gate closes, 
They just silently hid themselves in the depths of a faraway dungeon and watched the hunters quietly. That's why the nickname given to them was the Watcher, the one who watches. However, the hunters who rushed to hunt them even once never called them by that name. Ice Elf. They thought they were docile, but the moment someone turned them against them. He turned into a brutal marksman who hunted enemies with unusual movements. Contrary to their beautiful appearance, they are actually very cruel and warlike ice elves. So another nickname was born, Bakwi. It meant an elusive white ghost. However, despite this, Bakwi still belonged to a safe beast. Their archery skills were excellent, but at most they traveled in pairs, so their numbers weren't threatening. Most of all, because it was a non-linear mob. But that information has now lost its value. At least here in the Glacier Dungeon. A land where hundreds of sharpshooters live together. Even if you knew this information in advance and prepared for it, would you have survived safely? Ah, do not come. Don't come. A man hurriedly crawling across the floor with arrows stuck in his legs and back. Turbuck. A cold shadow fell over his face, pale with fear. You are the last. The man looked up in fear at the ice elf who approached and spoke to him. Because he had already shed too much blood, he could barely see his opponent through his blurry vision. Silver eyes with gray hair and fair skin and pointy ears. By human standards, she was a small and young girl who looked only about ten years old. You stranger who invaded our land. I am Shirka, the guardian of the Baruka tribe. An ice elf girl wearing a furry cap proudly introduced herself with cold eyes like frost. But even after hearing that, there was no response from the man. It was natural, because there was no way humans could understand the demon's language. However, Shirka continued her words as if it was okay. I will ask only one question. If you want to live, you will have to answer well. Sirka took a short deep breath and asked him a question clearly. Do you know the Shadow Lord? What the hell are you talking about? Seeing the girl speaking to him in an unknown language, the dying man cried out in anger. I ask you one last time, do you know Sung Jinwu? Just fucking kill me, kill me. If you don't know, die. Chu. Recently I created a game for Android Energy Idol Tycoon. I could use a little support in promoting it. Just download it and play for a while. Thank you in advance. Chapter 113. This chapter is updated by novels.pl the next day. As soon as the day dawned, Suho headed for Uljiro. Thanks to Ryo Singh, now that I knew the enemies I had to deal with, it was time to prepare accordingly. Hundreds of archers. Of course, I didn't think this information was unconditionally certain. Perhaps there were more unrevealed ice elves, so we had to assume the possibility that they were much more numerous than that. Besides, just in time, he had a money line to hope that Suho would not die. Our guild leader has a lot of money. I will buy you a guardian item. Just Ryo Singh. On a business trip to scout Suho, he had a corporate business card given to him by the Asura Guild. He was willing to swipe his credit card anyway to pay off his debt to Thomas Andre and to buy Suho's favor. But Burr grabbed Ryo Singh by the collar and growled ferociously. Don't boast about the price you deserve. The crime of putting the little lord in danger will disappear. Kekik, hard to say easy easy. I'll use it well. Ver quickly took his corporate card and presented it to Suho. Kang, Kang, Kiing. Upon arriving at Uljiro, noises from all directions awaited them. Once in Uljiro, I used to hear these words like a running joke. Everything is sold in Uljiro except people, a store where you can find anything you need, a special area lined with special workshops with a lot of specialized equipment. That place was Uljiro. It was only after the cataclysm that Uljiro began to become more famous in earnest. Eventually, the moment they came out of the narrow alley, fire sucked into an open field of vision, a tremendous sight unfolded before them. This is how Uljiro adapted to this era of upheaval. Hunter exclusive survival kit, shield special processing, sword and axe blade sharpening, plate armor workshop, making processing blunt weapon castings, a rare scene with various signboards. Hunter goods were displayed in front of them. There would be no hunter who would not roll his eyes even after seeing this. Iced coffee. Is this Korea's hunter mall? So did Leo Singh. Of course, there are places like this in India as well, but new weapons are waiting for new weapons dealers. 
In addition, it was quite unusual for him to see arms dealers concentrated in one area like Korea. Guardian, steering here too. Item shop, blacksmith. In fact, regardless of nationality or grade, if you are a hunter, you have no choice but to become an equipment enthusiast. It was because normal hunters couldn't level up like Suho, so there was no way to become stronger. First of all, since the amount of magic power is a fixed value, the only effort they can make is to increase their physical strength. In other words, physical training through rigorous training such as gym or sports. Or it was just to develop proficiency in using their skills in various ways based on their numerous practical experiences. However, there was one sure way to grow up that could easily ignore all those hardships. Right temp. A stronger weapon. More durable armor. If you change the equipment you use to something slightly better, you can become just as strong. So it was only natural for hunters to change their equipment. Tsk, are you here now? In front of blacksmith in Oljiro, there was a person who arrived first and was waiting for Suho. The middle-aged man, who was leaning his back against the wall with his arms crossed, looked at Suho and made a disapproving expression. You're probably the first person to call me out to recommend some usable items. Suho was absurd. No, uncle. When did I call the uncle? I just asked for a recommendation from a weapon store I know, and the person who insisted on coming out. Oldly, you have to touch and pick a weapon yourself. What if I texted you tick for no reason and you get caught somewhere? Are you going to spread rumors that the guild leader you bought at that time was not good at paying attention? Oh, hope I do. Liu Xing, who was listening to their conversation from the side, realized the man's true identity and trembled as if he had been struck by lightning. Oh my god, I wonder where I've seen it. Isn't it Lim Taeju, an S-class hunter? Did this person know Song Suo Hunter? While on a business trip, Liu Xing had already familiarized himself with the information about hunters in Korea. Of course, I knew someone like Lim Taeju. Now I see that Scavenger wasn't the only competitor. Of course, I had no idea that large guilds in Korea would also covet Song Suho. He looked at Suho's intentions with a nervous expression. Su Suho, join the Death Guild? No, no, Leo Sing's face lit up again, but it was still too early to let go. Who is this guy again? A new friend? Yes, I am an Asura Guild hunter. Ah, was it an Indian hunter? At that moment, indifferent Lim Teju's gaze and Leo Sing's eyes collided in the air and Liu Sing suddenly noticed. The fact that Lim Taeju's expression towards Suho is full of regret. I can't do it. I need to contact the guild leader and ask for a higher limit on the corporate card. Song Suho could have been taken away right in front of me if I was pushed back here. Moreover, right in front of his eyes, a conversation was going on that justified Liu Sing's anxiety. Anyway, thank you very much for coming in person. You must be busy, but please make time for me. The guy who kept chewing on the contact of that busy person until now speaks well. Oh, I'm really sorry about that. There are so many guild sign-up messages these days, so I haven't read them all. What happened? You say you're building your career to set up a separate guild anyway? How did you know? Somehow I found out about it. Originally, this floor was narrow. Because of the Vice President Lee Min Song's case, the Death Guild was not making sense these days. It was also a problem that his image plummeted in one shot, but he was also experiencing financial difficulties. He ran out of money to give away the death consolation money for the hunters who died at the time of the incident to the bereaved families by robbing Lim Taeju of his personal expenses. He did everything he could, but that doesn't mean that his image once lost could not be easily restored, so I tried to recruit this guy somehow. In a situation where many hunters are lost and manpower is urgently needed, it is natural to miss one talented person like Suho. However, there was no way to bring in a guy who said he would set up a guild himself. Besides, Lim Taegu, who stared at Suho's face for a while with a complicated gaze, opened his mouth. Anyway, what are you going to buy today? A bow. You are the most expert in bows in Korea. That is normal. Bow? Liu Xing was greatly taken aback by the conversation between the two. This is crazy. To use the same bow as a countermeasure against hundreds of ice elves, the strategy is terribly wrong. Naturally, Liu Xing, who thought Suo had come to buy armor and shields, panicked and stopped him. Guardian, 
there are so many ice elves, full plate mail, I recommend a tower shield. There are a lot of ice elves. Lim Teju's eyebrows twitched as he heard Leo Sing's words. Then, he quickly turned serious and glared at Suho. For a moment, are you thinking of entering the Glacier Dungeon right now? Uh? Do you know about the Glacier Dungeon? Who do you think I am? Do you think I, Lim Teju, don't even know that much information? At Suho's reaction, Lim Teju sighed heavily and gnashed his teeth. No matter how bad things got, the Reaper Guild was considered the best guild in Korea until recently. That much information was, of course, well known. No wait, then why did Thomas Andre come yesterday? It was only a small piece of information, but it was Lim Teju who noticed a lot with that alone. Recently, rumors were circulating in the industry that scavengers were aiming for glacier dungeons. He looked at Suho with a strange expression. Were you acquainted with Thomas Andre? No, I first heard of it yesterday. What the hell? No, if you don't know anything else, don't ever go in as a scavenger. They are ignorant. I'm not going in. Somehow, we only ended up entering the dungeon together this once. Good luck then. But why are you buying a bow when you're going to the glacier dungeon? Against hundreds of archers, of course you would need large and sturdy armor, right? That's right. Armor. Shield. Buy a tower shield. Even Ryo Singh joined in to try to change Suho's heart. However, Suho's mind was already set. The defense was already sufficient. Even without a shield, there were plenty of ways to block the arrows. And above all, of course it's more about attack than defense. Rather than standing still and blocking an attack, it suited his temper to attack first. However, Lim Teju and Ryo Singh, who did not know Suho's intentions, continued to nag while following Suho as he entered the bow shop. Okay, aside from the shield, why is it a bow? You're a swordsman. It's not like the scavenger guild doesn't have archers. That's right. Suho originally uses dual swords. Asura. Yes, Suho. I'm sure you're mistaken, but a bow is by no means an easy weapon to handle, no? Lim Tegu, who is acknowledged to be the best archer in Korea, could not allow a newcomer like Suho to take the bow lightly. Anyway, everyone is mistaken for the image of an archer because of the games that have come out these days, but in fact, there is no occupation that requires as much strength as an archer. The higher the attack power, the bigger and heavier the bow, so pulling the bowstring, huh? Tall. The reason why Lim Teju's nagging, which seemed to last forever, suddenly stopped. It was because Suho just picked up the biggest and heaviest bow in the store. Strength, 115. Wahia, Suho was so light that he was pulling a bow demonstration. Mister, can you see if this is a good bow? Why are you looking at me like that? When Suho's eyes met, Lim Tegu cleared his throat with an embarrassed expression. Hey, the power is good. By the way, you were a class C horsepower, right? Are you sure it's C class? Lim Tegu, who recalled Suho's battle he had witnessed, looked at Suho with a slightly suspicious expression. Did you get a remeasurement after that? No, even if it's roughly grade B, do you have archery skills in the first place? I don't have one. What? No? If you don't have archer skills, your mana will run out quickly after just a few shots, right? Lim Teju touched his forehead, realizing how much Suho was a rookie hunter. If he forcibly condensed mana to create an arrow without an archer skill, the efficiency of mana per arrow was too poor. Compared to normal archer hunters, it consumes three to ten times more magic power. Suho shrugged at his question. Everything has a way. It was then. As he spoke, Suho's complexion hardened terribly. A huge wave of magical energy spread throughout the area. At that moment, all the hunters in the store opened their eyes almost simultaneously and turned their eyes in the same direction. A tremendous energy was felt far beyond that direction. It's a dungeon break. It's around here. Urgent voices erupted from the mouths of the hunters in Yuljiro, no matter who said it first. But there was nothing to worry about. This is Uljiro. Maybe it was the place where the most hunters gathered in Korea. Whoever catches this first is the owner. The hunters all put down the things they were going to buy and started running to the place where they felt the dungeon break. In the middle of the mess. Lim Teju was looking at Suho standing next to him with a strange expression. Is it my illusion? When everyone looked at the place where the energy wave was felt at the same time, 
there was a person who turned his head first than anyone else. I think this guy was the fastest. Maybe even more than myself. Recently I see, created a game for Android Energy Idol Tycoon. I could use a little support in promoting it. Just download it and play for a while. Thank you in advance.